Hi, I just played around with the new Captain Webhook service and I thought I'll give you a quick run through in five minutes uh, what I've learned so far so that you also see how easy it is to set it up. And as an example, I am uh, showing you how you can use the Webhook service to send, for instance, notifications to your favorite notification tool like Slack. I'm using Slack in my example. So my name is Andy Grabner, but let's just uh, dive into it. So what do I have here? I have uh, my Captain installation, Captain 10. And what's new is on the uniform side, you have a new default service. It's called the webhook service. And the webhook service allows you per project, right? I'm using, I have two projects that I want to show you today, demo rollout and also the Dynatrace service, but let's stick on demo rollout. What you can, if you click on webhook service, you can add new subscriptions. That means you can say, I, you want to, let's say, subscribe to a certain event and then trigger a webhook. Let's see how this runs. Takes a while here, not sure why, but here we go. So I, you can select from any of the tasks that you have in your project. So the webhook service or the UI here is parsing your shipyard file. And then you can say, I want to handle the evaluation. There is uh, different options where what uh, the team is calling uh, silent and active uh, integrations. Handling the triggered event would mean you want to trigger an external tool that is then really handling the evaluation where you say, I'm triggering something an external tool, and then it also needs to communicate back. Uh, you can also handle the started and finished event. And I think in most cases, if you just want to send notifications, you're interested. If evaluation is finished, then you want to do something. You can do some additional filter. You get some, some examples here on the payload that you can react to and so on and so forth. What's really cool though, and this is what I wanted to show you, and I've kind of my cheat, my cheat sheet here. So you're posting this to a URL. Um, here we go, I'm doing an HTTP post. So I say, Captain, when evaluation is finished, I wanna post something to this URL. Now I have created a secret for my Slack token, right? I put this into a secret. Once you put it into a secret, you can also nicely select it from here. I've put both the token to call Slack, but also the, the Captain Bridge URL in as a secret. Why the bridge URL? Because I wanna reuse it in the custom payload. Let me just show you as well. I have, for instance, for evaluation, I've crafted the, the JSON that Slack specifies for the webhook. And I'm pasting this in here. And you can see it's really cool because you can uh, reuse uh, a couple, uh, all of the data elements on your payload. So dot then allows you to access all the elements. You can also go into the data block. So I'm basically saying, I want every time an evaluation is finished, post stuff to a particular Slack channel with the username captain and then some additional blocks here. And the reason why I have the other secret with the captain bridge, I'm including a link back to the captain's bridge for that particular captain context. Then I say subscribe and that's it. Now I've already done this. So let me cancel out of here because I've already subscribed the evaluation finished and the deployment finished. So in the back end, I think I actually have a sequence running. So this sequence here is part of my Argo rollout uh, tutorial. It's the demo rollout. And as you can see, there's a couple of things. Uh, currently, one is actually running. Evaluation is happening. Let me switch back over to my Slack. And I can see here in my demo rollout, dash, dash. Here we go. The new latest thing just came in. Captain evaluation finished, passed 100 from 100. I also put in project, stage, service, and a link back to the bridge. So I click on it, and it gets me automatically back to Captain. So this is pretty sweet. Now this also works uh, for other projects. Let's just wait on this is loading. Uh, my captain here runs on a very small EC2 instance. Uh, some of you probably know I'm using um, uh, K3S. So uh, just uh, you know, for demo purposes, this is perfectly fine, but really cool directly getting uh, into the evaluation. Now, let me do one more thing here. I wanna do a trigger in the evaluation. I have a second project, it's the Dynatrace project. So I'm just kicking off an evaluation which means the only thing I'm doing now is I uh, will sit and wait until I get a notification in Slack and I should see it in my Dynatrace demo. These are some previous results that I had. So you see, it's super easy. I just created the same webhook for my different projects. Um, so this will come in uh, in a minute. I will share, if, if you're using Slack, uh, I will share these um, Kind of, kind of, you know, JSON objects here uh, for these simple messages with you in a blog post probably soon. Uh, but I think just showing you this is really super easy. Now, what else do I want to show you before I, I stop 
if you are creating these uh, webhooks, then uh, through the Captain Bridge, the webhook definition itself will obviously also end up in Captain's config repo. So in my case for the Diamond Trees project, I have the webhook here and there's the webhook YAML. And this is basically just the same curl. You can see it with all the different uh, parameters. So in the backend, what the webhook service really does, it takes the payload that you pasted in and it crafts a curl comment. Uh, there's currently some limitations. I would say at least one that I found out curl with uh, the payload uh, with the data parameter doesn't support some special characters, but the team is already addressing this. But in general, this is super easy and super nice, right? I mean, really, really job well done. And um, yeah, let's see if my, here we go. My evaluation is finished. Now I got the result, captain evaluation finished. Warning, 83 out of 100 points. Click getting to my bridge with the results. And um, whether this is Teams or any other system that you have that uh, enables or has webhook, I think it's now super easy to configure webhooks to react to it. There's also documentation. Do me a favor, check out captain.sh. Uh, if you go to the docs and if you go to release 10, this is where I think under custom integrations, there is a section called webhook integration. And the team already did a pretty great job in explaining, actually the Slack integration is even here. Look at this Slack integration. There's also a Jenkins integration, which is cool. So calling a Jenkins pipeline through the webhook and then letting Jenkins even call back. So this is really, really awesome stuff. All right, with this, enjoy the webhooks. Bye-bye. <laughs>